it's time to st 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 steal because that's what was happening in a Japanese store um, pretty recently, like a few days ago, actually. Uh, so it was a Yu-Gi-Oh card worth 5 million yen. So that's about $33,000. Big deal. That, that, that could save you a lot of trouble when it comes to bills. So yeah, the card was stolen and you would think a card this expensive would be pretty heavily guarded, probably behind a titanium door, and the thieves that probably stole it were probably professional cat burglars, a crew, like the whole Fast and Furious, D Dominique Toretto's, they probably came in with like Mustangs and these big muscle cars to come steal this card. No, it was just some guy in a black hoodie, came in, asked to see the card, the employee took it out of the display case, gave it to them to look at, probably got busy, turned around, and when they came to their senses again, the card was gone. The thief <laughs> just walked out with the card in their jacket, coat, whatever, got into their car in the parking lot, drove away leisurely. Not baby driver-like where they're just doing a getaway driver thing. Nope, they was just calm and steady. They got out. The employee then later found out, called the cops, and informed them of the robbery. Let's be honest, that card has been sold and probably <laughs> the person's using that money for a pachinko parlor somewhere there. Uh, the boss probably really laid it on to this employee because, yeah, you probably should have treated this card like jewelry. I used to work as an intern at a jewelry place and um, they would often say, do not whenever you put it out of display make sure your hand is within it uh, you could see like videos uh, all the time like through security cameras professionals who when they show the jewelry they make sure to show it properly because these thieves have methods where they're like oh yeah th this is good uh i want to see another jewelry like right here so when the jeweler goes down they'll try to nab the one that's currently here good good professionals they'll keep their hand here covering that jewelry while they take the other one out or they'll put this one back as well uh, unless the customer says no no you keep this one i want to see it you, you gotta play these games sadly that game wasn't played here because trading cards aren't often seen as these oh big expensive things they're just cardboard right it's cardboard uh and i don't blame them i myself sometimes like why would they spend so much but yeah, th that's just life, I guess. Now, the card in question, I looked through the comments. The comments have been ricocheting left and right about what it was exactly. At first, they said it was this card. And I was like, sure, I, I guess it might be. It's a part of a set of cards that are just uh, one of their kind from the Asian Championship 2001. They're just prize cards, no other versions in their production. And I, I could see, I could see uh, why they chose to stole, steal this one in particular. I don't know if they're gonna sell it, they're probably gonna put it near their bedside and looking at it, look at it longingly while they go to sleep. Maybe that's why they stole it, they were lonely. There's a definite lonely epidemic everywhere in the world right now. But regardless, it can't be this card because the card that was stolen was $33,000. This one is like four times that, maybe five. Not, yeah, definitely five times, six times, whatever. It, it, it's not this one. So which card is it? Which card was actually stolen? Well, it is straight out of the anime because the card that was stolen <laughs> was this, the Blue Eyes White Dragon 1999 Jump Fiesta version. Yep, it's a Seto Kaiba. <laughs> it's exactly like from the story of the anime where Kaiba comes into Yugi's grandpa's shop takes the fourth Blue Eyes card, rips it in half. Regardless, it, it has been stolen and uh, I don't think it's one of a kind. Uh, it's rare, definitely rare, probably like a few thousand printed. Uh, so if he does sell it, maybe they could track it. But then again, the black market is vast. So who knows where it's going to go. Uh, pretty hefty card. And um, yeah, I just don't know. Overall, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in general. Uh, at best, I would probably pay ten dollars for a single single card. Like outside that range, nah. I'll probably wait for reprints. If it never has reprints, oh well. I'll just play a different deck of cards. 
but it's insane the the market values of cards going here and there and the security was just not there for this at all like i feel like they should have had like armed guards or something maybe, maybe not armed guards because i mean considering this is Yu-Gi-Oh, they'll probably just have invisible guns honestly if you think this criminal is bad it, the trading card community it has a decent amount of uh, scumbags here and there who just attack a target walmart buy everything off the shelf and then sell it at marked up prices uh, i mean it's still robbery robber uh, rob uh, what tongue you want to work robbery uh but it's legal <laughs> in a sense because hey they it's just something that's allowed to be happening the the these people are grown adults mind you and this these are for children's card games like look at here this one was very recent where two grown adults and they're just uh buying up all the pokemon cards in the costco so they could take it to their store and sell it way higher and yeah that that name checks out mad rat toys yeah way to go at least they accept what they are but th th that's what i'm saying is like uh, being a kid and getting into Yu-Gi-Oh or pokemon or just magic or any trading card game it's tough it is very tough if you don't have disposable income, you ain't getting anything. I remember as a kid, my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience was pretty sad. Uh, I mean, it, it was playground rules regardless, but there was no way I was entering tournaments. Uh, I did, but I got stomped because I don't have a wallet. I'm, I'm just this six-year-old trying to play a game. And uh, the worst thing is when you do get rare cards from like... Of packs and whatnot the 20 and 30 year olds i remember that would swamp me and try to trade my one good car for like crappy 10 cards that i had no idea frustrates me i lost some very good cards i hope whatever 50 year olds they are right now or 40 i don't know how old they are now i hope they choke on those cards not saying that they eat those cards but considering their iqs they probably do but man, I'm so bummed I lost all those rare ones. But that's what I'm saying. These criminals are always in every market, in every hobby. Uh, trading card games are nothing new with these kind of uh, weirdos that go around uh, doing these kind of things. It's just very sad that it's grown adults. There's a term for these kind of people. They're called scalpers. So depressing that it's grown adults going around making it harder for kids to play a kid's game like i'm not denying it i play Yu-Gi-Oh and pokemon their kids game i enjoy it but the primary market should be for children right children can't play just the name of a game i guess i can't talk too much because not to say that i stole Yu-Gi-Oh cards and sold them at high prices but as a kid uh <laughs> on the playground i did sell some pretty average common cards for like 20 bucks a pop only because uh these these guys they were my friends too i i, I feel double bad but um they just really like the card art uh the card in question is this one yeah it, it was the these cards um i'm not proud of that part of me that part of history of mine uh but i did use that money to buy like a i think a ds game that i really liked i think it was a kingdom hearts game or something but i have good memories even though it was a very scumbag thing to do as like an eight-year-old or something like that he just had a crush on it like who am i to get in the way of true love you know like let, let, let the kid have a card i mean <clears throat> He's a, he was a good friend. He never brought it up ever again, probably because he felt embarrassed. And uh, I just never paid him. I need to track him down. I need to pay him back for that. That's just awful. 20 bucks for this. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, all in all, I just find the idea of just trading cards being this super expensive. Just, I don't know. Like it, in the case of the Blue Eyes one, that's understandable because there are multiple versions of Blue Eyes you could play you could have a playable deck with them it's cheap uh but like cards in many games Yu-Gi-Oh being the perfect example that are meta or you really need to actually play the game are just super expensive you have to like sell a kidney just to get three or not even three just one 
one of these cards uh, even though you need three of them to actually get the deck running thankfully i don't play meta anymore i just play for fun by myself in my room yeah i i, I set the decks uh, i play on one side then go to the other play the other side it's sad i know but it's fun to me it's fun to me sometimes i go to locals and that's fun too but like I can't do tournaments. I, I don't have any like meta decks because they're just off the wazoo. Like watch this, like this card. This card is kind of, it's definitely needed for like most meta decks, 58 bucks. This is insane. Now you see like, oh, it's 14 here. It's 17 here. That's Korean. These are foreign ones. And that's the thing. Foreign markets, they, they print in especially Japan, Japan where this originates, they print the card in many different versions so that anyone can buy them. They could buy the shiny version or the normal less shiny version and they could still play the game with any budget they have. For Americans and uh, other people outside, uh, yeah, they're, they're very out of luck. Konami and just the company itself will just milk you dry with all this. Uh, and it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I, I'm, I remember Magic when I was still into that. That was very expensive. Um, Pokemon. Pokemon has a thing where it has different art versions, I believe, that are cheaper the more uh, different ones the unique ones those are super expensive like you could check it up so like here you have this lugia card that's eh, a pretty pretty decent amount five dollars i could i could shell out five bucks and then you have the rare alternate art version which is very rare hence the price but look it's the same in the game format so you could get the really cool looking one if you're a collector, or you could just get the normal one and call it a day. But not every <laughs> not every card game does that because they gotta milk you dry. It, it's a scummy tactic, it really is. But, oh well, at the end of the day, back to like the whole stealing the Yu-Gi-Oh card thing. Um, yeah, you're, you're gonna have people who will steal regardless. Like this card, you could definitely see it getting stolen if it wasn't a, <clears throat> a hobby store and whatnot you just need to have better security uh most people tend to forget like oh it's just a Yu-Gi-Oh card uh, or a pokemon card or whatnot so they don't really protect it as much especially if they're like just employees working there part-time um i wish i knew as a kid the pokemon cards i had that were like hand-me-downs from my older cousin how expensive uh they were gonna get in the future I would probably not have gotten them so damaged and wrinkled up. I played with them in the bath. I hate toddler version of me. I want to go back in past and punch toddler version of me because I, I could have made thousands of dollars. My friends and people who I tell them usually like, oh, but the memories, the memories are what truly matter. Memories ain't gonna pay my bills. But hey, I digress. That's um, I'm not just a complete money grubber. I I've come to peace with that, and I'm on my way. But yeah, this uh, thief here, don't know. I don't know how far they'll get because uh, they'll probably get tracked down. Uh, I'll probably hear something about it later in the future. The co the Japanese cops probably sending him into the shadow realm or something like that. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I guess that's all there is. It, it, this was just a babble session for me. I, I saw this news, I got riled up like, he probably stole that card just to get uh, enough money to actually buy a workable deck for Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, I digress more and I'll end it there. That's all there is.